Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today, we're gonna run two loads, West Burlington and then Cedar Rapids. And uh, we'll get some good news. Uh, our freight here in Menards is picking up and uh, we're gonna have plenty to do this week. So that's a huge praise. Stay tuned for some trucking. Not a good morning for somebody. Like that, we successfully made it to uh, West Burlington. Hard to shift with my left hand. Uh, it's a good morning. Got some rain that we drove through, which is fine. Not afraid of the rain. Sort of enjoyed it. Cleaned the mud off my truck. sort of nice see if I can get in here without hitting anybody it's always helpful right just a little oh we're good plenty of room mr. DNR man had to get in front of me so happy for you man so happy for you all right we need to do our check-in process, uh, crossing our fingers. There's nobody around the corner getting unloaded already. And then we're gonna do what we do. Oh, I figured I'd jump back on here. Uh, I didn't record as I left the store. Everything went well. It took a little bit longer than yesterday's stuff. Yesterday was a, a one-off day where I, where the, each store took less than 30 minutes. That don't happen very often. I think it was about 45 today in West, West Burlington. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, we're gonna go to Cedar Rapids next. So we're we're in Iowa City right now, so we gotta make it back to the yard. Um, I need to get some fuel, and then uh, we're gonna come over to, to uh, Cedar Rapids and deliver our load. So trailer number 841, it's one of the red ones. Not my favorite trailer, but it is what it is. Those red ones, um, they're spring axle, the tri-axle red trailers. They're spring, spring ride, and uh, they're old. And when they're empty, you bounce around a good bit. The trailer I got on now is one of the new utility, newer utilities. 
and uh, man this is a comfortable ride the only thing uncomfortable about this ride is the fact that it's windy and I'm fighting that so it's raining it's wet it's windy sort of a gross day outside but you know I'm glad that we are rolling hard from an arts and actually I was on the load bird board earlier and I saw live loads listed for Menards. So that tells me that uh, we're, we're good to go for a while. Tonight is the night they're going to get rail cars in, and I bet they will. When I'm back at the office today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out if we're, well, I'm going to ask them, see if they know if we're past the past the slow part. See if we're done with that. That almost looks like snow coming down. I should really check that. See what the temperature is outside. It was supposed to cool down throughout the day today. So I need to, there's still plenty of spray coming off tires. I'm not really worried, but I need to check that. So we're gonna, we're gonna check if we're past the worst of the year for freight. That would be awesome. Um, that means we're gonna return that step deck. And, uh, which is, I mean, that's sad, but I'm I'm hoping that I never rent one again. Why? It's because I really intend on purchasing myself a cheap, uh, well taken care of for cheap. I don't know, uh, trailers are cheap right now. I wanna find a good deal on a 48 flat and have that to uh, whenever anything slows down ever to not be sitting. That's what I want. I still have all my equipment. I got tarps, although I don't really want to use them. Uh, but I got them. And if push came to shove, I'll use them. Anyway. We're having a good day. It's uh, Tuesday, I don't even know what time it is right now, honestly. I think it's probably around 11.15 in the morning. And we're gonna get back to the yard. Well, today is a weird day. The, the high for today was actually at like three in the morning, which I think is interesting. I checked a second ago to check to see the, the direction of the wind and it's 29 degrees outside now. It was 40s this morning. I knew it was supposed to drop, but oh well. I'm not a huge fan of the cold anymore. It's supposed to be spring, but we're staying inside the truck, so it's not like it really matters that much. I got nervous there for a second. I saw the step deck sitting there, but it's a live load. Uh, we're getting 841 right there. Going to Cedar Rapids. That's a little bit weird, but we'll make it work. Man, there's multiple live loads in here. I didn't think we were that busy. Well, I guess whatever. Got two trucks in here getting live loaded. Got this guy here, lots of fencing. So haha, -ha, have fun with that. And this guy here, I think he's a regular for live loads. I'll get myself turned around because the wind is coming out of the Northwest. We're gonna be right there. Well, we're back on the road. I didn't record much in there. I uh, can't really record outside because it's over 20 mile per hour wind sustained and then gusts up into 30s. Um, so it's unpleasant outside. Thankfully it's pleasant inside. The truck's doing good. It's mostly keeping up with the, the temp. Do have a draft, 
you know, it is what it is. Uh, what was I gonna say? We got we got our trailer uh, headed over to Cedar Rapids. It's a little wonky, but uh, we're gonna keep on top of it and make sure nothing falls off. Um, it was really really low. I had trouble getting under this trailer. That I'm not real excited about that. That that has been way too common lately. I don't know why they had to set them so low. I really think it's because CRST trucks are set up for dry van. So they got low pro fifth wheel plates. Low pro flip fifth wheels, plus they have low pro 22 fives. And well, I'm not really low pro. <laughs> um, going down so low that the uh, the tires are rubbing on my my fenders. I'm not real pleased with that. I want them gone, the fenders that is, but um, not enough to let them break while I'm operating the truck. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, yeah, my truck is well. It's a not not really a low pro fifth wheel. It works. It's legal for dry man. Um, 22.5 rims with 11R 22.5 tires. So, yeah, I'm not, I don't have, you know, 24.5s like that green truck had, but I'm not low pro. And I don't want to be. I think I'm just going to have to get rid of those fenders sooner than I thought. So, that's what's going on. We're going to go stop at Quickstar and get some food and some fuel. And then we're going to continue on our merry way. Um, had a chat with Ian, yeah, well, the office guys, and we, we, are, we are good for a while. Um, they got five rail cars in over the weekend. They got a bunch of trucks in yesterday. Um, they're they're doing live loads today because uh, they're so busy, and there are 11 rail cars in the yard. So that means we get five tonight and five Thursday night, and by the time we get to the weekend, they'll be doing five again on the weekend because I'm sure more will have come in. So yeah, we um, we're probably good to go for at least this week for 100% sure, and probably all of next week for sure. So, I'm probably gonna, I don't know what time I'm gonna get back to the yard, but I may hook onto my step and uh, um, take it home. By home, I mean back to the rental yard. It's a bummer I still have some equipment on it, but I can leave that here on the yard overnight. Nobody's gonna yell at me. So we'll, we'll see. If we, if we get done with this Cedar Rapids load quick enough, we might just do that. It might be pushing it. We're, we're gonna figure something out. We need, to, we need to get rid of it quickly here so we're not paying on it and not using it. It was, you know, this is this is sort of how it has always worked with trucking for me. I finally decide to move on, and I should have just waited. That's just the way it's been. So, uh, my original truck. Story time, guys. Bear with me. Uh, my original truck, the, the Volvo White WIA, um, radiator blue. I should have just gone and spent $200 and had it resealed instead of going out and buying another truck. That's what I should have done. Didn't do that. Okay, so now I got the T800. 2015 T800 with Packard. 
It runs wonderfully for over a year. Right before Christmas, 2021, I have to go on the hook and fuel system problems. We don't end up getting that figured out until March, beginning of March. I started running that green truck that I just sold. I started running that two days before my mechanic calls me and says, hey, we fixed your T800, it's good to go. Two days I ran that green truck before my white truck, my, my T800 was ready to go. Two days. That was very frustrating. All right. Now, green truck. It goes down. Well, the green truck never came back from, from being broke. I really should have just paid to have it fixed right. If Even if I had to take a loan out. But... That's not what I did. I went and bought this truck. And, uh, well, here we are. Uh, with a rental trailer, it's not as bad. Because I didn't really spend that much on it. But it's just sort of, just sort of feels like I can't win sometimes, you know? Y'all know how I feel, I'm sure. Sure, you're on. You understand, but we're gonna turn that that step deck in, and we're gonna save up and hopefully make some moves this year. Um, like I said, I wanna would really like to purchase my own my own uh, flatbed to have for these occasions for next winter. Uh, I already got the drive in. So, yeah, maybe a hopper. Three extra trailers? Why not? All right, I've been rambling on for eight minutes now, like I did yesterday at that time. Um, we need to go get some fuel. And guys, this morning I was wearing a ball cap and these things. And uh, I'm thinking about breaking out the Carhartt because it's cold. It's cold! Is this supposed to be spring right now, guys? We were saying that a month ago. Isn't it supposed to be winter still? And it was spring, and now it's it's spring, and it's winter. Hopefully for, not for too long. Yeah, the end of the week is 63 degrees. But yeah, it's 33 degrees. Feels like, let's see what that is. That'll be exciting. Feels like 20. Right now, we're in Cedar Rapids. We made it all the way over here. Fought the wind. Well, I guess we're not fighting the wind. We're getting blown by the wind. We'll fight it on the way back. The weird trusses conglomeration. A nice tall stack of trusses with rebar stuck on top. So that's fun. They got it though. They got it. Um, usually they complain about that sort of thing, but they did pretty well. It shouldn't take too long. I got here 2.30, it's been 20 minutes. Uh, I got most of my straps done. Half the time they've been staring at it like, uh, what do we do? <laughs> Sometimes it happens that way. Uh, good news is we got a bunch of, a bunch of forklifts working on me, so shouldn't take too long. Uh, no outside footage today because, well, audio would be terrible if I tried to do that. There's another bundle of rebar up there that they're trying to fight with. Then once they get that bundle of trusses, 
but you can't really see, can you? Uh, no, you can. Um, once they get that off, I can get my belly straps off and we'll be in the home stretch. Well, we're all, all the way back to the yard now. Uh, but it's good to be done for the day. Uh, the wind was starting to sort of fatigue you after a while. Y'all know what I mean. It definitely fatigues you after a while. I think I probably burned more fuel <laughs> coming back across 30 than I did going out. Because on the way I was traveling east, the wind was pushing me. And uh, on the back, on the way back, empty. Traveling west. Right into the wind. The wind is west, west, west north, west. Uh, so, a little bit of fight. But, we made it. Right now we're airing up our trailer. We're um, hooked to our trailer for tomorrow. And, uh, like I say, we're going to be going, well, you know, I don't know if I told you. We're going to Fort Dodge in the morning. Fort Dodges are loaded for tomorrow. And I uh, haven't been there in a while. Looking forward to it. I enjoy traveling to Fort Dodge. Um, I enjoy the store. Um, it's great. We're going to take this home. So we're going to get to get a little different route in the morning. Uh, I don't know if it'll be light enough for me to show you that, but it's sort of the same way as I go for, uh, for Mason City. Um, 14 to 171, I think. And through Aldora to uh, 65. And then I get on th 20 and take that from Iowa Falls all the way over to Fort Dodge. So I'm going to finish getting this hooked up. Get on back to the house and rest and rejuvenate and be ready to go for the morning. That's all I got for you today, guys. The For me, the freight market is back. Um, I'm excited about that. Five rail cars in tonight, five in the Thursday. I'm sure we'll get five again on Saturday. We're hitting it hard. We're ready to go. Maybe we'll even do a load on Saturday this week. That would be awesome. Uh, at some point, I still need to do my wiring harness. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Hit the thumbs up button and we will see you on the next one.